Hey everyone, welcome back to Tinopolis. So today we are finishing up the island and I did say in the last episode that I was going to go more in depth on ancient Grecian cranes, but since we're not building a crane today, I'm not going to go into that because I still try to somewhat relate what I'm talking about to what I'm building and yeah, I'm not building a crane today, so... It just felt a little bit out of place to start talking about a crane. Also, I quickly want to mention that this is probably the second to last. Well, let's just make it easy. There's probably one more video on the files and after that it's done. Well, actually, sort of done because I'm not going to do the bridge on the back side of the files because I have no clue how the area in the back of the ferals is going to be or at the back and the bridge is kind of like the connection point between the island and the back so the bridge has to somewhat reflect both of those places and if one of those places is not well i don't have any idea for those places then yeah then it's just better to just leave it for a little bit until i have a somewhat of a idea on how the back of the ferals or the area at the back of the ferals is going to look so yeah that's the only point that we're not going to build and i have no idea right now like literally no clue what i'm going to do actually that's a lie <laughs> i have some ideas on what i want to do with the area to the back of the ferals but that's mostly like centered around rides I want to have some kind of water ride, like a river rapids or... Nah, I don't think a log flume would work. Actually, I really should stop having ideas when I'm making a commentary. But yeah, there's probably going to be some kind of water ride at the back of the ferals. And there's going to be another ride that's a bit more connected to the ferals, but also not because... Reasons. <laughs> should I say it? I mean... I'm probably going to somewhat ramble on and then spill the secret. And well, it's not that much of a secret. It's just I have no idea if it's actually going to happen and I don't want to. Well, I actually I do say quite a few times like, oh, I have an idea for this and I want to build that. And then the second episode or not the second, but like two episodes later. The idea has completely changed. So I'm kind of like on the fence on like telling you guys. But yeah, there's some ride that's going to be connected to the ferals. But also not. And it's also going to be connected to the Acropolis. So it's going to tie those two areas together. Yeah. Let's just say it also involves water. <laughs> I mean, it does suit the area a bit. I mean, the feral sits on an island. The Acropolis sits on somewhat of an island like it's connected to the land on one little area a really tiny area actually but yeah for the islands because i'm rambling on and i'm completely forgetting what i'm building but yeah it's pretty much the same as all the other sites with like how the foliage and how the rocks because it's one island so it should be a bit of the same but also, this side, because it's like right next to the Acropolis, you can really see how much more, I wouldn't say how much more detail, but how much more stuff I use. Like, seeing this, well, rock work and this cliff side next to the cliffs of the Acropolis, it's like, the Acropolis has like one-fifth of all the stuff that this cliff has. Also, I wanted to make some little bit of rocky beaches, sort of like a bit of, I don't know how to call it. It's like, yeah, rocky beaches, because of course it's dreadful weather here again, so I want to build beaches again. Yeah, that's pretty much every time I build a beach, it's just, it looks awful in real life or... Well, real life weather is awful, so I want to make a beach. 
just to distract myself from the awful weather outside. But I do take like now that I really look at all the footage and everything, you can in some way see a little bit of like the influence of Fidian on this park area thing. Just because I use a lot of trees now, well not a lot, but a few trees as like shrubbery instead of like full on trees, which I actually, I did a little bit, but never really to the extent that I do now. Also, because like I had issues with my game crashing, every time it auto saves right now, because then it like lags and it staggers a bit, I get a heart attack. I always think that when it auto saves, my game is going to crash. And that's not a fun thing. <laughs> Probably in like a week or so I will forget about it. But right now I'm just like, don't, don't freeze, don't crash. Yeah. Also, I have one great tip for anyone building nature stuff. Do the rock work when you have zero inspiration. Like rock work is one of the things that you can just do when you have literally no idea. That's rock work is just like, all right, let's place one rock on top of the other. Let's make sure that the rock on top of the other is somewhat stable or at least somewhat believable in that it sits there. And then you can just go nuts. Like rock work is probably like the most boring thing to do, but in some way it's also a little bit more necessary and also yeah it's rock work is just b really boring actually to do but it does deliver great scenes if you do it right also now that i look again at the footage i wanted to make this rocky area a little bit more dangerous looking or dangerous feeling so thinking of that this is one of the straits that ships would go to and thinking of like, oh, with rough seas, I mean, now that the sea is calm, it looks very pretty. But when it's rough seas, I mean, there are actually quite a few jagged edges along the rocks. Any boats that gets caught in that, it's just, it's gone. So that's what I wanted to do with these edges, just to give the pharaohs a little bit of like a darker tone like not make it all happy like i even put a skeleton in here but that's a bit of like adding i wouldn't say realism but a little bit more feeling to the place like not everything is going to be cheery and happy like with cliff sides there are going to be shipwrecks i mean it's just natural to add that little bit of like darker side of things it's just almost completely natural that there are going to be shipwrecks because rough seas, rough rocks, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this, but yeah, th there are going to be shipwrecks. And in some way, I just really like to set a really cheery or a really like beautiful place off with a little bit of like dark things or like really small dark scenes like those shipwrecks or like those well those shipwrecks are really tiny actually most of you guys if i ever release park will probably not really spot that i mean it's tiny in this large park which is going to be yeah it's going to be quite a big park i'm going to melt some pcs if any of you guys try to download it i mean it already has melted my PC a <laughs> few times so actually lately now that I've upgraded my PC doesn't do that as much actually it runs very smooth on my PC right now but yeah more rock work <laughs> again most of the time when I start to you know doing rock work again I have zero inspiration and then as I'm doing it I'm like making shapes with the rocks and then I get inspiration and then things happen. Sometimes they look good, sometimes I... yeah. Also you might notice in like the background shots that some of the ships or actually all of the large ships are gone. 
basically because those large ships were really not fitting with the team. And so I kind of modified some of Wix's. I'm not sure if that's the good pronunciation if you... Well, let's just say Wix, his Viking ships, I've modified them to make them look a bit like... Alright, how am I going to say this correctly? <laughs> you guys already know, I'm awful with names, but the, the Greek ships, the Tyremes, Tyremes, yeah, I'm not even going to try. But yeah, those are now the bigger ships. And also, I wanted to make a rock arch because of the... Mm, I'm going close into spoiler territory. Uh, let's just say it, I'm going to make like a ship tour thing. Yeah, and that's why I wanted to rock arch. It's like a really tight space and I've just like, yeah, I get with a ship tour thing. You know, that's one of the reasons, well not one of the reasons, I mean that's one of the side effects of having like pretty scenery that like you don't really need to add stuff for the ship tour or it has a name, I again forgot it, but I wanted to just have a little bit of like tighter spaces where you can like do some little scenes without making it too much in your face like I don't want with that ship tour I'm going to find the name of it I mean yeah but with that I didn't want to have like explosions and sudden waterfalls and everything actually sudden waterfalls are maybe a fun thing again I should never get ideas when I'm making a commentary but it happens and sometimes I forget the, those ideas as soon as I stop recording the commentary. Sometimes I remember them and then I just think, what the hell was I talking about? Again, another great example of how these commentaries are completely unscripted. But going back into the rock arch because the rest of the scenery and nature is a bit similar to all the other sides. So I don't think it's really adds much to this video to go into that. But for the rock arch, it's a tighter space. It's more of a, you know, it's not a major sea route or ship route. And because of that, it, you know, you have a little bit more of like close encounters with the scenery and with, you know, yeah. I don't know really how to explain it understandably or logically, but I try. But yeah, it's just I wanted a bit more of the nature closer to the ship when it's, you know, sails through. And that's why I wanted to make the rock arch. Actually, no, lying again. I wanted to make the rock arch and then I thought, oh, this might be a very nice place to have like that ship tour going through the more island heavy places yeah again this shows that for me the scenery and the buildings are more important than the rides the rides follow the scenery that's basically everything so the thing i think the only ride actually that has like somewhat molded the scenery around it is the train ride or the train. The train is... Yeah. I mean, the whole side of the Ferals was basically just like... I can't, you know, make a really big... How do you say it? Well, I can't make the train go around the Agora area and then, you know, go into the back and everything because I have the station already. So, the train on the Ferals Island is pretty much the only place right now where scenery followed rides and attractions all the other places the scenery makes what the ride is going to be i also immediately see that i forgot to remove those wooden pillars 
I should have thought about that. But anyways, that's going to be it for today. I hope you liked the video. If you do, I hope to see you back next week when we finally finish the ferals. And yeah, I hope you have an amazing day. Bye bye.